Okay, I'm so excited about what we're gonna do today. Okay, well, if you're so excited, why don't you go ahead and introduce what it is that we're doing. Okay, so today we are going to make a plaster cast of an animal track. Bobcat. Wait, why are we doing this? Well, when you're out on a trail or in the woods and you find that perfect animal print, this is a great way to be able to preserve it, and it's super easy to do. Yeah, so why don't we go through everything you'll need to do this craft. Okay. So first, of course, you'll need the plaster to make your cast, mm -hmm. a spray bottle filled with water, some paper, um, a heavier stock is a little bit better. We've also got tape, scissors, a brush, and then we'll need some uh, paper cups and a couple of stirs to mix our plaster. Last but certainly not least is uh, bobcat tracks. So for this activity, we're gonna be simulating what the bobcat tracks that hopefully you would be finding in the wild. Okay, cool. This is the fun part. Our first thing, we're actually going to make the bobcat prints in our soil, okay? So why are we using this type of dirt? This soil has a lot of clay in it. Oh. Yeah, which means it's really fine and it's gonna hold its shape a lot better. It also holds onto a lot of moisture, which is really good for this process. So let me understand this. Soft sand doesn't hold a track? You can definitely see animal tracks in the sand, but it won't hold our plaster cast as well. Okay. Okay, so are you guys ready for the fun part? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, now you're actually going to get to be Bobcat. So we're Ooh. gonna take these rubber prints okay. and we're gonna actually print them into our soil. Right there. Imagine you probably wanna put yours a little bit further away. Okay. There we go. Now, I like to use something with sort of a hard bottom to press it in a little bit. Not too hard, but we wanna, we wanna simulate what it would look like in the wild, right? So, oh, yes. Okay. The next step is to cut our pieces of paper. Remember, this okay. is sort of a hard stock. We want yeah. to keep its shape a little bit better. Okay. Maybe yeah. just a two inch strip. Okay, so I would say like right about there. That looks great. And done. Perfect. So what we wanna do with this strip, the next step is to make it into a ring. And you want this ring to be just slightly larger than the okay. track that you're trying to isolate. Yes, okay. Like that. That looks great. Okay. So we're gonna take our paper rings that we just made okay. and put it right around our track. And then you can do yours too. Enough room for everyone. And so the nice thing about having this thicker paper is that we can really wiggle it into the soil a little bit and get it in there. So. So we want okay. to almost have a wall around the track. Exactly. Okay. We're gonna be pouring this liquid plaster um, right into our track. And okay. so this will help keep everything stable and in place. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Great. Getting this, the soil a little bit moist will help it keep its shape okay. and will keep the plaster from sort of spreading all over. Okay. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. So this is gonna help us set it. You wanna spray the tracks? Oh, yeah, sure. So it should be a light mist? Yeah, a light mist, exactly right. <laughs> Just the tracks, please. Just the tracks. <laughs> now it's time to actually mix our plaster. Oh, fun, okay. We really need two parts plaster to one part water. Okay. It's really easy, so double the plaster to water. So I'm gonna give each of you guys a little bit. Okay. You don't need a ton. Plaster kinda looks like powdered sugar. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got our plaster measured out, uh, we'll need a little bit of water to mix it, but I don't think I actually grabbed any water. Oh no, I might have to go to the I lake. actually have some right oh, here. okay. In your water bottle, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Great, so you can uncap that and um, that saves us a trip and just pour it into our plaster. Now guys, let's have our mixers ready. Okay. Once we put the water in, you'll wanna start mixing, stirring it up. Think that's enough? Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Okay, cool. A little more. Now should I start mixing we'll it? Start mixing it. Okay. So the idea is you wanna keep mixing it and we really want the consistency of sort of loose pancake batter. Okay. Plaster. All right, now that your plaster is all mixed up, and again, it's okay if it's watery. Okay. Or if you see a couple clumps, that's okay. We're gonna pour in really gently along the side. Just like. Perfect, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh, oh. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's okay to have extras coming out. It's okay. And Madison, you ready for yours? Yes. Perfect. If you're doing this on a trail or in the woods, okay. you're gonna have to bring all this stuff with you. So you okay. just wanna, you don't need much plaster like you guys saw, mm -hmm. um, but you definitely, you wanna mix it when you're ready to make the track because you only have a couple of minutes until the plaster is gonna start getting hard okay. and you won't be able to fill that shape anymore. What do we do for 30 minutes? I don't know. I can teach you a song. Have you heard of Manatee Rhapsody? Please don't start this. What is Manatee Rhapsody? <gasps> 
Stop. Don't. I'm chilling. Eating. Floating all day. I'm manatee. That's what I say. Warming up in the spring. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to sing in a ring in Beijing. Okay. Um, does this go on for 30 minutes? Yes. Do you want to go for a walk? Yes, please. OK. I'm it goes on and on. And on. <laughs> Weather. Chilling. Eating. Floating all day. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, thanks for taking us around the park. Yeah, no problem. These are bobcats, right? OK. OK, so it's been about 30 minutes. We can wait a little bit longer, but it should be nice and hardened up. Oh. Right? Yeah? OK, so you guys ready to see these? Yeah. yeah. OK, I bet they're going to be great. So we're just going to remove our paper. Can I pick it up? Yeah, go, or... ahead, and, go ahead and grab it. Oh, wow. It's the bobcat oh, track. Mine doesn't look like a monkey. It looks like an actual <laughs> track. I'm impressed with myself. You should be. And so this is when the brush comes in handy. OK. Um, it's OK to have a little bit of the dirt stuck in there. We've still got some of that soil with the clay. Mm -hmm. And you can use your brush to kind of clean it up a little bit. OK. And that's really how that um, your track comes out a little okay. bit clearer. This is a really great way to be able to take a little bit of the wildlife that you saw home with you and put yeah. it on display. And as long as we're moving everything when we leave, it's really low impact to the environment. But you'll be able to keep these paw prints or these tracks for forever. OK. That's cool. Yeah. That was cool. It was kind of like how my bobcat track that I found, right? It was so cool, too. I actually found that track. Oh. Wow. But these ones came out great, so. Yeah, they did. I wasn't really understanding why we were doing this, but it turns out it's pretty cool and I can take a piece of wildlife home with me. Exactly right. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, yeah. This Are is you going to awesome. put this up at your house? Oh, yeah, for sure. This Excellent. is going to go next to the bobcat track that you found.